Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Tarska Beats channel in Malaysia. Now these images of the Moto Origins Wave 8 Hot Trooper turned up online some days ago. Now I was pretty excited to see this and I wanted to talk about it with you guys. So let's get down to it, shall we? Now we did see Hot Troopers turning up in Origins with the recently released exclusive Hordak 4-pack set from Powercon. Now I thought that this set was overpriced upon release but now it's going for something like $250 on eBay. So yeah, I mean, you need something like a Bitcoin investment if you want to get in this set right now. But it's actually two variant hot troopers here in this set. There's one red guy and there's one black. And these look pretty nice. I gotta say that, all right? And actually do check out the Man Charles channel on YouTube. Uh, he's put up a great video on this four pack just recently. And check out the video, you can see how everything works. But now we're getting the original grayish white uh, or silver version of the Hot Trooper and we finally have a legit army builder in the Origins line. Now look at these photos here. The plastic on the figure seems to be the kind of shiny plastic silver uh, which when executed correctly can give the figure a really premium look. But when it's executed badly, it could also make the figure look pretty much like a knockoff. Now I brought up my vintage 80s Hot Trooper for comparison look and you know while this thing does have a break apart action feature, uh, it has actually legitimately broken off in other parts as well. You know the legs come off here and uh, it is because you know the legs on these old figures were held together by rubber bands and this one just snapped off you know it's the coal white within. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I actually prefer the Origins figures in some ways you know because this kind of shit just doesn't happen anymore. Now one thing with my old Hot Trooper, I always kind of felt like the head was sunken in a little bit too much. Um, so you could barely see the eyes, whoops. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like, I'm not sure it's because of the action feature that was, you know, limiting its vision. But in a way, it kind of also looks a bit more sinister, you know, like the guy's just kind of like just staring at you quietly without you realizing it and waiting to just STRIKE! Now the way that the action feature works is that you're supposed to hit on the emblem in the center of his chest here and uh, the top portion of the figure breaks apart the two. Let's check it out, okay? Just hit that, hit it, pow! <laughs> and it just breaks apart like that. Uh, it is a pretty cool feature, I gotta say. But I did find it curious, um, you know, that the figure's main gimmick is to just be destroyed, okay? He's literally there for you to just destroy him, all right? And in a way, it kind of does add to the disposable nature of the hot trooper. You know, it kind of makes them less threatening in a way, I suppose. But either way, for play value, it is a pretty interesting gimmick, you know? And uh, I really want to see for myself how the new Origins figure translates this action feature. Now, since the spear weapon on my vintage Hot Trooper figure is missing, uh, possibly gone forever, I do appreciate the fact that we are getting a vintage styled re-release of the spear with this new Origins figure. Uh, it looks great, okay, and uh, I actually can't wait to actually just have him posed together with the spear weapon. Also from the images provided, the Hot Trooper comes with a white crossbow accessory and uh, this is keeping in line with the team of all of the evil Hot's ranks, you know, all of them have a crossbow accessory weapon. But I was curious, because um, I can't actually quite recall if the vintage Hot Trooper came packed with a crossbow weapon, alright? I do remember the spear, I don't remember the crossbow so much, alright? So if you guys know, maybe just leave me a comment below. Um, the interesting thing about the Hot Trooper is that he's a cybernetic uh, robot. He's a machine, um, a killing machine, sort of like the Terminator. So uh, I do find it strange that uh, he's going into battle with such primitive looking weapons like a crossbow and a spear, right? You'd think that something like the Hot Trooper, a, a robotic uh, force of destruction like the Hot Trooper would have something like a laser rifle at least, okay? I mean, what do you guys think? But probably the use of the spear and the crossbow is just part of the overall uh, mythology and the effort of the franchise to sort of like keep this running team of a hybrid between high technology and the sword and sorcery element, okay? These two always seem to go hand in hand with Masters of the Universe. And, you know, when I look at the emblem of Hordak, okay, on the Hot Trooper's chest, I just think that, you know, it just, it just looks fantastic. Okay, you know, um, the Hot Troopers like this, you know, futuristic killing machine, but you've got a very sword and sorcery sort of like element with Hordak's face 
on his chest with the wings at the side of it. Um, it it's kind of like, you know, if Optimus Prime had the symbol of a dragon on his chest, okay? Yeah, something along those lines. Um, wait, I mean, did they actually even do that once in Transformers? Uh, but yeah, you know, you get what I mean, right? You know, it's sort of like, so I think that uh, the design of the Hot Trooper uh, is something that's actually very captivating and I'm glad that we're getting an update of this figure. Actually, I wasn't expecting the Hot Trooper uh, to be announced at all for this current wave because I think initially there was an announcement that uh, the figure that was supposed to be included here was a standard edition release of the Sunman exclusive figure, all right? Uh, but then uh, it turns out that the Hot Trooper is coming out instead. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but um, it's great that he's here. Uh, but, you know, thinking about it, it does sort of mean that at least uh, three of the figures in wave eight are basically going to be straight up repaints of existing molds. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, the anti Eternia He Man, we've got the mini comic Trap Jaw, and we've got the Hot Trooper here. They've all been repainted from earlier versions of these figures, um, with only Clawful being the sole original mold, I suppose. But, you know, um, we did talk about this actually in one of the earlier videos about how, you know, it used to be that we used to get waves with entirely new figures that have never turned up elsewhere in any other form. And um, then it started to become that we would get maybe one repaint per wave and then it started becoming two. And now it's up to three, okay? Pretty soon, I think the waves are going to be taken over by just repaints, okay? And, uh, you know, where in the hell are all the original figures going to be coming from? But um, that being said, okay, I am really, really glad that we're getting the Hot Trooper here, the basic Hot Trooper, because there's no chance in hell that most of us are going to be able to get the exclusive PowerCon version of him. So, hey, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Uh, anyway, leave your comments below. I want to hear from you. And I'll catch all of you again real soon. Thank you.